Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous sessions, we have seen the linear data structures, the stacks and the queues. So in that, we have seen the implementation of a stack using arrays and linked list. Similarly, the implementation of a queue using arrays and linked list. Right. So in this session, we'll go with the applications of a stack. So where these stacks will be used. So here, mainly, uh, the uh, stack is used in evaluation of a postfix expression. Similarly, it is used in conversion of infix expression to postfix expression as well as infix expression to prefix expression. And also the balancing the parentheses. So all these are the different uh, applications of a stack. So before going to actual applications, let us see what is meant by the infix expression, prefix expression and the postfix expression. Right. Applications of a stack. Right. So first one is infix expression. Infix expression. So here, this plus, minus, into, divided by all, we call them as operators. Right? So what are the variables we are using? Let it be A, B, C. All these are called operands. Operators and operands. Right? So, if you consider any expression that will be in the form of a plus b right a plus b is an expression so that means there will be an operands and operators in the expression so if if the operator is in between the operands operator is in between the operands so operand operator operand so in between the operands there will be operator then this is called infix expression example the same example we can say that a plus b right second what is meant by postfix expression postfix expression post we have seen the uh, terms post increment and pre increment. Similarly, post expression, post fix expression means first there will be the operands, and after that we have to write the operators. See, operand one, operand two, and then we have to write the operator so that means example it will be in the form a b plus a b plus right so this implies a plus b okay this implies the a plus b and this is how it is evaluated in our system right this is called a postfix expression postfix similarly the third one is prefix expression prefix expression so prefix pre increment and pre decrement we have seen so prefix means first there must be an operator then we have to write the operands operator operand 1 operand 2 example for this one is plus a B plus a B this is called a prefix expression so three ways we can represent an expression infix expression postfix expression and similarly prefix expression right 
So in fixed expression is the expression which we, we know that, right? So we have to place the operators in between the operands. That we call it as a in fixed expression. And if you are writing the operands first and then the operators, then it is called as a post fixed expression. And if you are writing the operators first and then the operands, then it is called a prefix expression. So here, our stack has, uh, these are the applications. So one is the conversion of infix to postfix, infix to prefix, and the evaluation of postfix expression. So how this expression is evaluated in the system. And similarly, the balancing, balancing the parentheses. Okay, balancing the symbols. So all these are the applications. So let us write the applications first and then we'll move with the one by one. So first application, conversion of infix to postfix expression second one conversion of infix to prefix expression the third one, evaluation of postfix expression. And the last one is balancing of symbols. So all these are the different applications of a stack. That means where the stack is used. So in the conversion of infix to postfix, we will use the stack. And similarly, the conversion of infix to prefix, we will use the stacks. And that means uh, with the help of a stack only, we will complete the conversion. Similarly, the evaluation of postfix expression and then the balancing of symbols right so let us see one by one so in this session we will go with the conversion of infix to postfix expression conversion of infix to postfix expression Right. So for this conversion, we are supposed to follow some steps. Right. So we'll we'll take the stack and uh, we will read the expression. And by reading the expression, we will use with the help of a stack, we will convert the infix expression to postfix expression. Right. See. So first, let us write the steps required for this uh, conversion. steps required for conversion first one see so first we have to uh, take uh, read the infix expression that's an input right and after completion of this conversion the final output will be the postfix expression so reading the infix expression read each and every symbol read each and every character right so let us call it as a string let us call it as a string and read each and every character okay so if the character if the character for example see from A plus B star C, 
a plus b star c so here consider this as a string this is an infix expression because we are using the operators in between the operands so consider this as a string and read each and every character so if the character is left parenthesis so obviously our expression may also contain the parenthesis right so if our character is a left parenthesis simply push to the stack push to the stack right simply well, the first step is if it is a le left parenthesis simply push the left parenthesis into the stack S next if the character is if the character is operand so our expression will be having both the operands and this uh, operators right so if the second case if the character is an operand then simply add to the postfix expression add it to the postfix expression Right. The third one, if it is not a left parenthesis and if it is not an operand, if it is an operator, if the character is an operator, right, is an operator, what you have to do? Check whether stack is empty. Right. Here two conditions will be there. So one if stack is empty, one process should be done, and if stack is not empty, another process should be done. Right. So here, first first case, if the character is left parenthesis, push the push the left parenthesis to the stack and if the character is an operand add it to the post for postfix expression and if the character is an operator check whether the stack is empty and then if stack is empty we have to do the particular operation and if stack is not empty we have to do the particular operation right so now we have to check whether the stack is empty or not then see two conditions stack is empty and stack is not empty if the stack is empty then push operator into stack push the operator into stack second case in the same condition i mean in the same case we are having two conditions then if stack is not empty if stack is not empty then check the priorities of the operator Check the priority of the operator so here also again we are having the two conditions first one if the priority of operator is greater than See, 
is greater than the operator present at top of stack right if the priority of an operator is greater than the operator present at top of stack then push the operator into stack push the operator into stack so once writing all these steps we will see the example so that your doubts will be clarified right see second point the reverse if the priority of an operator is less than or equal to the operator present at top of the stack right so if the priority of an operator is less than or equal to operator present at top of the stack now what we have to do then pop the operator from stack pop the operator from stack and add to postfix expression so we have to remove the top of the stack the operator which is available at the top of the stack and we have to move that to the postfix expression and then we have to check with the further uh, operators in the stack itself right so we can't place the operator which is having the priority with the less priority than the top of the stack see add to the uh, postfix expression go to step one so again after completion of this one go to step one okay again we have to check the priority of the operator which is greater than the operator present at the top of the stack after removing the first first operator right so first operator now the top at top of the stack will be moved so we have to check the operator with again the top of the stack right so this process should be repeatedly done next right okay then then now we have seen the left parenthesis operand operator there is a one more thing that is a right parenthesis so if the character right parenthesis then pop all the operators from the stack until it reaches left parenthesis and add to postfix expression right so 
if the character is a right parenthesis then we have to pop all the operators in, from the st from the stack until it reaches the left parenthesis so already if it is a left parenthesis we have placed it to the stack right we have moved it to the stack so we have to remove all the operators which are available in the stack until it reaches the left parenthesis and add them to the postfix expression add them to the postfix expression right next last one after reading all characters if stack is not empty if stack is not empty then pop and add to postfix expression okay then pop and add to postfix expression right so after reading all the characters from the infix expression if you read a plus b star c still the stack is not empty then remove all the elements of a stack and add to the postfix expression right so these are the steps to be followed uh, while creating i mean while converting the infix to postfix expression see so if the character is left parenthesis push push the left parenthesis to the stack and if the character is operand add the add the operand to the postfix expression and if the character is an operator then we have to check two conditions whether the uh, stack is empty or not if the stack is empty push the operator into stack if the stack is not empty check the priority of the operator so we we, we need to see the uh, uh, operator precedence right so we have to check the, for the priority of the operator now if the priority of operator is greater than operator present at the top of the stack simply we can push the operator into stack if the priority of operator is less than or equal to operator present at the stack, top of the stack then pop the operator from the stack and add to the postfix expression and go to step 1 that means again we have to repeatedly we have to check whether the priority of the operator which is greater than or equal to the um, uh, top of the stack operator which is available at the top of the stack right if the character is a right parenthesis if the character is a right parenthesis then remove all the elements from the stack that means operators so right see here one thing to be uh, remember that uh, in the stack we will just push the operators not the operands so stack consists of only the operators so if the character is a right parenthesis then remove all the operators from the stack until it reaches the left parenthesis then add them into the the postfix expression and after completion of reading all the characters from the infix expression if still the stack is not empty then remove all the operators which are available in the stack and then simply add to the postfix expression right see simply we can uh, uh, let us solve it right so let us take stack and this is a postfix expression stack postfix expression see first first character is a a means it's an character uh, it's an operand so if the character is operand add to postfix expression so this is a postfix see i will i will show you this postfix and this is stack so if the character is operand simply add to the postfix expression so we have to add here so next this one is completed next character is plus so if the character is operator check whether stack is empty yes this is an operator we are checking for the stack so stack is empty here so if the stack is empty push operator into stack so push the plus to stack so hope you understood this one right so next this is also completed next b if 
the character is operand add to postfix so simply write d here right next star star is again operator so if the character is operator then check whether the stack is empty so stack is not empty so it will go with the second case if the stack is not empty check the priority of the operator so star is having the uh, see so if the priority of operator is greater than operator present at the top of stack so star is having highest priority than top of the stack operator which is available at top of the stack so star is greater than plus so this condition will be true then top of the stack present then push the operator into stack so just simply push star into stack right so this is also completed next again read the character if the character is an operand add the postfix expression so c is added here right so the reading of all the characters from the infix expression is completed right the reading of characters from infix expression is completed there is no other character available in infix expression so that's why i see last point after reading all characters if stack is not empty here stack is not empty then pop and add to postfix expression so pop or everything so pop operation means we can uh, delete the element from the top of the stack so delete the top of the stack star and place it into the postfix expression so then plus pop it again place it in the postfix expression so this is the postfix expression for the given infix expression right hope you understood this uh, simple steps required to uh, convert the infix expression to postfix expression okay so now let us stop here in the next session we will go with the examples for postfix expression infix to postfix expression so we will work, work out uh, two or three examples so that your doubts will be clarified everything right so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions and if you are having any doubts regarding this session feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and uh, thanks for uh, watching my video and uh, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much